driving over to Beverly Hills. We're going to be checking out Lowry's Prime Rib. It's a great place. Let's go check it out. Arrived here, guys, at Lowry's here in Beverly Hills. In 2018, I just got married at Lowry's. Isn't that crazy? So I do love this place. Super excited about making this video. I've been coming here many, many years since I moved to Los Angeles in 05. And guys, do me a huge favor, guys. If you love food, you love travel, do me a huge favor. Subscribe, turn your bell with notifications on. I drop a video every once a week. It could be California, it could be Vegas, it could be international. So do me a huge favor and do that. here today I love this place I got married here five years ago this guy was invited actually five years ago um, but yeah Niners did win but they didn't cover the spread so he took plus seven and he was sad about Detroit losing everyone was sad but he ended up getting a, a steak dinner here at Lowry's and uh, super excited about have, having this meal with him it's been a while but one of my first friends I met in Los Angeles actually in 05 so this guy's been with me since the, my singlehood FYI, this guy is Korean and he's single. He's very financially stable. So if you're out there, make a comment below and uh, I can set something up. All right, back to the video. This video is sponsored by the Jung Agency, a financial services firm, life insurance, retirement planning, wealth management. Our emphasis is minimization of fees, taxation, and risk. So if you're interested, look in the profile or go to jungagency.com. Menu. I love prime rib places because you get you get a salad and you get mashed potatoes, sides, as well as Yorkshire pudding. And there's three different, four different cuts. There's California, there's an English cut, there's a Lowry's cut, Diamond Jim Brady cut, as well as beef bowl cut. But I'm gonna do $64, which is the traditional most popular cut. It's a Lowry cut. So let's compare this to uh, House of Prime Rib. I've been this many times, been here many times, but it's been a while since I've been here, so. And enjoying dinner with my buddy so let's see what this is all about and uh yeah exactly that's charles again um follow him on tiktok go crazy and uh social media instagram as well so that's what we decided to go with start with the bread here oh that's good it's solid sourdough butter's good too it's creamy wow i can eat this whole loaf Really good. Start off right. So many. So the salad on top of skin. Oh, I love this. Turn. Oh, yeah. A little bit of our classic vintage dressing. Oh, this, this is my part. favorite part of the job. Oh, I love it. <laughs> me too. Skinny me too. Salad. And uh, inside the salad, three different greens, a little chopped egg, chopped beet, and our own hand cut croutons. Ooh. Dressing is French. And I don't know if you've heard of this before, but we are the first restaurant in the United States to have served salad as a first course. Oh, crazy? wow. Yeah. First, first restaurant. Yeah. God bless Lowry. Yeah. Back Sir Lowry. then, all the nice restaurants in the country were trying to copy the European style. Oh, okay. Salad. Comes uh, in some countries at the end of the I didn't know that. Salad comes at the end. Wow. Yeah. And Mr. Frank, our founder, was so excited about the this is salad comes first coming to the table. He said, that should be the big finish to the meal. Yes. Not salad on the plate. Let's get that out of the way, sir, with first. Wow. And the rest is history. Wow, that is amazing. Chilled fork. Thank you. Chilled fork, yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. A complete mess here. Yeah, and of course, as you know, he was the one uh, who invented the take home bag for your leftovers. Oh, wow. And uh, always had generous portions, so he said if they can't finish, let's give them a box or a bag. He also invented valet parking. Wow, yeah. valet yeah. parking? Yes, yes, yes. Mr. Lowry invented valley yes. parking, yeah. salad as a first course, and, an take -home and a take-home bag because the portions so, were so generous. Yeah. Gosh, we owe a lot to Mr. Lowry. Oh, so much. And an all-female serving staff in 1938 at fine dining level. Wow, that is unique. so progressive. 1938, all-females serving, yeah. that was a big deal back then. And out of respect for them, 
on their name tags were all last names. So we still have customers that come in and say, is Miss So and So here? Oh, or Miss so last names. Oh, and I love it. He coined the term coworker. Coworker? Instead of just employee. So very Employee. Oh, wow. He's very progressive. Yeah. Hank Lowry. I'm sorry. What was his first name? Lowry. Lawrence Frank. Lawrence Frank Lowry. Wow. And so the pepper is wonderful and so just be careful comes in yeah. out of that a little fast. This is the Imagine famous Larry's. I was going to ask, Season is salt. it possible to get like uh, the cherry tomatoes? Of course, you are a regular. Good. Yes. Can we get two of those for Wow, you this, this guy knows. What is that? What was this pro tip you gave me? Jackson. What was cherry it? Cherry tomato. Okay, okay, my buddy said cherry don't, tomato. Don't get like skimped out. Okay. All right. Yes. That's a lot, guys. Wow, he did a lot for uh all this food oh my god i'm so lucky so fortunate good meal with a good friend nothing better than that that's this place uh i got married here like in 2018 like i mentioned married over there actually right over there that was the where we sat and these are all the guests we're at i learned a lot today from my from my waiter and he's all in on lowry and mr lowry so a couple things i want to mention very progressive 1938 all female staff they use their names, that name tag was Miss Johnson, Miss whatever, so people still come in here and asking for Miss Johnson or Miss whatever. Um, that's progressive in 1938. Number two, he salad. Salad should be usually served at the end of a meal, I guess in Europe, but he was the first person to serve it first, which is kind of amazing, but that's standard now in America. The doggy bag, he created that. Food to go, created that. Valet parking. This guy needs to be like in some type of food like Hall of Fame or something. It's like ridiculous, right? Buddies right here. And um, $64, great value, big portions. Uh, steak was perfectly cooked, no gristle. Uh, prime, rare prime plus. This guy's the man, he told me. Thank you. And uh, Lowry's obviously, the pepper, salts, and all that. Uh, mashed potato was solid, it was really good. Creamy, it was delicious. We had the cream corn, that was bomb, that was fire. I had the spinach. I had to add some, have some vegetables because uh, my wife will kill me if I have any vegetables. And table service, spinning salad was amazing. That was overall great. That was a good thing with that. And the food cart came around here and uh, I love it. It's unique. This place is like unique. It's OG. And House of Prime apparently opened after Lowry's. Lowry is the OG. I didn't know that Lowry's is the OG in 38. Lowry's is number one. He said he's never been to House of Prime Red though. So there's another video guys. Click on that. Watch it. Compare. That was my dad's birthday actually for that one. That was a good one. But yeah, overall, what are your thoughts guys? What do you think? Lowry's, House of Prime Red, which one's better? But I'm just really... I love, Mr. I love Mr. Lowry, I have a lot of respect for what he did. This place is very homely because it's like kind of a home vibe, it's like a home vibe. It's kind of dark in here, a little hard to record to be honest, but overall good experience. Open table guys, do me a huge favor, like this video, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next one.